in our galaxy, not far away at all. Welcome to my first top five in a long while. In this top five, I'm going to go over my personal picks for the top five Star Wars characters. And deciding on this list wasn't easy since Star Wars is full of such interesting and compelling characters. I'm only going to decide on the best of the best, so here is my top five Star Wars characters. Coming in at number 5 is Luke Skywalker, the OG protagonist that started it all. While Luke was pretty bland in A New Hope, he later matures and grows as the series progresses. And that's the cool thing about him, his development. He goes from a naive farm boy to a wise Jedi who believes in nothing but good and always sees the best in people. So yeah, Luke is not only a pretty cool protagonist, but he's a really cool character and the legend of Mark Hamill plays him. And yes, that monstrosity of a Star Wars movie and its portrayal of Luke Skywalker does not play a part in this top 5 and I refuse to let the incompetence of The Last Jedi writers ruin such a fan favorite character. Coming in at number 4 is Han Solo. Han Solo is a pretty cool guy. He makes a lot of funny jokes and one-liners, and he has a pretty cool arc of changing from a selfish loner to a responsible hero of the Rebellion. He also has a cool stick of being one of the best pilots, and he's a pretty cool gunslinger. While Harrison Ford wasn't as passionate to play this character as the other cast members, he does a good job portraying the character. And yes, Han shot first. Coming in at number 3 is Anakin Skywalker, or as we might know him, uh, Darth Vader. I know Anakin receives a lot of flack for being, well, annoying at times, but if you look past his awkward lines and cringy dialogue, Anakin has arguably the best arc in the entire series. The first time we meet Anakin, he's a naive little boy who is overly eager to be a Jedi and is cocky about being such a good pilot. After Obi-Wan agrees to train him, Anakin's cockiness and role as a Jedi doesn't mix well, and he has to struggle throughout the Clone Wars to contain his love for Padme and his anger. As a dire circumstances, manipulation on Palpatine's part, and fear for his loved ones, Anakin joins the dark side out of desperation. That's not the end of the tragedy of Anakin Skywalker. He loses Padme, completely engulfs himself in the dark side, and loses his legs before he's left to burn to death by his former master. He's barely saved and is imprisoned in a cybernetic body where he has to enforce the Emperor's tyranny across the galaxy. Thankfully, he redeems himself when he kills the Emperor, saving Luke in the process, and dies in his son's arms. The prequels are hate it, but they do a phenomenal job making you sympathize with Anakin and completely justifies his turn to the dark side. Anakin is not only an interesting character, but a really tragic one. Coming in at number 2 is General Grievous. Yeah, I know, this entry might not satisfy most Star Wars fans, but this satisfies me. General Grievous held my pick of my favorite villain in anything ever before the Joker took that spot two years ago. You'll notice instantly he has a cool design, then we get to his backstory. General Grievous was a general of an alien race, and while he's in a ship, the ship is sabotaged by the Separatists and it blows up. Grievous is savaged by Count Dooku, who falsely tells him the Jedi caused the explosion and offers him the opportunity to be a cybernetic general of the droid army that would destroy all Jedi and end the Republic. Grievous agrees and just like that he becomes one of the most feared warriors in the galaxy. The main thing I love about Grievous is, the, is his intimidation. Grievous shows no mercy on the battlefield and wields four lightsabers which he is extremely skilled with. Being trained by Dooku himself, Grievous collects the lightsabers from his dead victims to keep as trophies. Slaughtering Jedi is freaking fun for him. He's deceiving, he's calculating, and he's intimidating. Everything a fun villain should be, making him the number two spot. Coming in at number 1 is Jar Jar Binks. I mean, what's not to love about Jar Jar? He's funny, completely necessary to the plot, and was considered a hero amongst his peers. Obviously, I'm messing with you. Coming in at number 1 is Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm surprised too, but after further thought, Obi-Wan is such an awesome character. Just like most of the characters in this list, he goes through such a great arc. We see him at, uh, we first see him as a fairly young Padawan to master Qui-Gon Jinn after what is perhaps one of, if not the best lightsaber fights in the series, Obi-Wan watches his master get killed before his eyes and he's barely able to win against Darth Maul. Obi-Wan re uh, reluctantly agrees to train Anakin, but over the years he becomes almost like an older brother to Anakin. He later meets a woman who he's, who he's in love with 
Hitler, but he has internal conflict because of the Jedi Code which prevents him from becoming a lover to someone. It ends up not troubling Obi-Wan for long when o o Darth Maul ret makes a return and kills yet another person Obi-Wan loved right before his eyes. The thing that's awesome about Obi-Wan is he has two rivals throughout the Clone Wars. Darth Maul, who has a more personal rivalry with, and General Grievous, whose rivalry is played off a bit more lightheartedly. Well, as lighthearted as the Dark Series that the Clone Wars can really get. He has an anticlimactic fight with Grievous and kills him shortly before Order 66. Obi-Wan confronts Anakin and wins the duel and is forced to watch another loved one burn at death right before his eyes. Well, at least presumably. He's tasked with protecting Luke as a child, and he hides on, on Tatooine where he is confronted by an old enemy, Darth Maul. Perhaps what is one of the only good things to come out of the D new Disney canon, Obi-Wan is left with no other choice but to kill the one person that has caused him so much pain. Obi-Wan reluctantly does so and respects Maul after his death, basically telling us Obi-Wan is probably as wise and peaceful as a Jedi Master can ever be. After the events of A New Hope, Obi-Wan is murdered by his old apprentice, but goes out willingly and peacefully. Uh, and by apprentice I meant Padawan, I don't know what I was doing writing the scripts. <laughs> Obi-Wan has lost so much throughout the Clone Wars, but he's always strong enough to keep a level head and stay wise, which is the major contrast between him and Anakin. One awesome thing about Obi-Wan, which is so underrated about his character, is his humor. Most of the time, even under dire circumstances, Obi-Wan is always smiling and cracking jokes, which is always so fun to watch. So yeah, Obi-Wan is wise, strong, funny, and it's an absolute blast to watch on screen. So yeah, everyone, that was my top 5 Star Wars characters. Trust me, it was hard to decide not to put Darth Maul, Palpatine, or Princess Leia on this list, but that's kind of heartbreaking decisions you have to make on a top 5. Anyways, what are you guys' top 5 Star Wars characters? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. As always, it's been a blast talking about Star Wars with you guys, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace, everyone.